Hi there, how are you? This is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. So I'm moving on with my list of people who um, asked for different types of pick-up piles and shuffling because you like to see me shuffle. Um, so I think I'm going to do a combination like I did last night where we do more than one question. So um, somebody had commented like, how soon are they coming back? And somebody else wanted to know, um, when will they tell me they're in love with me? They said, when will he tell me he's in love with me? But I figured I can do this for both. So how soon are they coming back? And when are they going to tell me they're in love with me? I'm going to do three piles. And I got three cards. So we got one, two, three. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about pulling out the things. You guys can look, um, for the time to see like what time came, like what time stamp it has or whatever to see if you like that. Um, I just don't want to pull out crystals right now. <laughs> I'm being lazy. I'm very tired and I sent out a lot of readings today. Um, and I went through my list and I kind of like you know, checked up on it, and I, I, if there's somebody out there, um, that has messaged me, like, on the second, um, I'm coming up on that day, and there's two of you that never let me know what type of reading you want, so if you don't know, uh, if you, <laughs> if you never told me what kind of reading you want or what length you want, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to take you off the list, and then you'll have to go back to the end, and, Assuming those people um, don't come back, I'm on a 7 to 10 waiting day again, okay? So it's going back down, you know, and the readings I have are easy ones. Um, I like doing the, like, the 20-minute ones because I can whip those ones out. So I have quite a few of those to do, um, and I feel like I can get those done pretty quickly. So we're back to 7 to 10 days on a wait. And all that information is down below. Um, if you are wanting a reading, you know, just look down below and choose which one you want. And then if it's one that has questions, you know, you can email me your questions. If you don't have questions, you can email me open to receive. And I will just do my own questions for you. If you want a love letter, con you know, let me know if you want a... Um, 30 minute or 60 minute and I did offer somebody told me they couldn't afford to do um, what you might call it like they could only afford a half of the 30 minute so I will do 15 minute love letters if you want me to for 22 I just don't have it added under the description thing yet and I probably won't tonight I probably won't have that tonight um, oh. Alright, um, and I think that's it. So we're going to find out when they're going to talk to you and how soon they're coming back, which I do find is two different questions because they may come back and then not tell you that they're in love with you. You know, that can happen. 333, we're starting at 333. Hopefully we can get this done before it splices into another video. I'm going to start with pile number one. And we have let your friends help you and passion. Then we have the nine of wands, the hermit, and the four of wands. Okay. So I'm actually feeling that this person could come back rather quickly um, just by the energy that's here. You know, the Four of Wands is that 1111 card that's like the marriage card in the traditional tarot. The Hermit is somebody that's been in reflection and is learning. You know, this is somebody that has probably been thinking a lot. You know, they could be a little depressed, but the Hermit's also like a spiritual awakening type of energy. Um, so I do feel like, you know, they're, they're wanting to come back for like a, like a spiritual commitment as well. And they may, may have awoken to the fact that this is something bigger than what they may have thought it was before. And then with the Nine of Wands, there's just like a like a very strong energy of climbing up. I'm using a different camera tonight, so it's like the thing on its view uh, is different. And with, with the Passion, it says allow your heart to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and ask for and accept support from others. Okay, 
So I feel like this person has probably been talking to their friends about this situation. They may be like, I can't, you know, I can't shake this feeling. I can't stop thinking about this. I feel crazy. Um, that type of stuff. And they may not have even, they may, or, you know, it depends on the person. If they're in that hermit mode, they may be feeling like a little bit isolated. You are such a pain in the ass today. Stop. All right. Um, they may be actually feeling isolated and not talking to people, but that in that case, it would be like they need to come out, you know, they need to ask for help, they need to get assistance, they need to get some help with this, okay? Um, you know, I feel like if you have been depressed, you know, and take these messages both ways, like if you've been feeling depressed, ask for, ask for help, you know, um, try to get help. But I really feel like this is kind of that energy of them talking about this situation. And then with the passion here, it's telling me that they very much want to come back. And with the Nine of Wands, I feel like they very much want to come back. You know, like how soon before they come back. Um, I'm going to shuffle out of here to get a number. Hopefully they'll give me a number. Hmm. I got the Two of Wands, the Tower, and the Three of Cups. So what I'm feeling with this is a couple of things, and mind you, many people watch the video, so take what resonates and leave the rest. With the Two of Wands, I'm feeling like they want to start, like they want to make their decision. They want to come forward. But I feel like it's going to take a tower moment to have that happen. And now, if you know your person is in a third-party situation, that's what the tower moment needs to be. They need to have a crumbling of the situation that they're in with their karmic partner or their career, or whatever it is that they've, like, allowed themselves to just be, like, consumed with. Um, third party doesn't have to mean, like, they're with a person. It can be that they have something in their life that just takes center stage. But I feel like what this is saying is in order for them to come back, it's taking that tower moment. And the tower moment doesn't have to be something bad. It's just a changing of our current situation. So it could be that they have to get themselves out of that depression. It could be that they just have to get themselves to, like, take a step back from whatever the hell they're focused on outside of the connection and allow themselves to make that decision to come forward. The number I am feeling for this pile is two. Um... So it could be that this person comes back in February. It could be that they come back in two hours, two weeks, two months, two years, you know, but really it's all a matter of allowing this to happen, allowing a crumbling of what they're going through right now to happen. And I really do feel like there's something in their situation that could be holding them up. It could even just be the depression that's holding them up because this is the card of celebration. So they need to get out of that energy of feeling badly or feeling stuck and just make that decision to get into that celebration energy with you. But I do feel like, you know, a lot of this is, like, like it could be very quickly, you know, and allow the number 222 to assist you. 222 means that our thoughts are manifesting. So every time you see 222 or, you know, um, any of the vibrations of the two, allow that to also remind you of this partnership, of the energy of union, and to be that, that reminder that your thoughts are manifesting. So keep them focused on the positive. Like if you start going into, oh, this is never going to happen, and blah, 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 blah. Like let, your spirit, like let your spirit guides help you in this as well with bringing the confirmation that that passion is there and that it's not going to take the world crumbling down. It's just going to take a crumbling of the current situation that this person's in for them to come back towards you. Um... But I really do feel like this person's wanting to have like a like a beautiful connection with with the person, you know, and it really just depends on what they have going on for that third element outside of this connection. But I do feel like this is this is telling me that they want to come towards you rather quickly. So, you know, try to focus on it being February. Imagine that they and imagine like they're already back with you um, and with that hermit. You know, try to be mindful that they may actually be sad. They may be depressed. You know, so try to send them energy that will assist them in rising back up out of that energy because they're not going to come towards you while they're feeling that. You know, they need to get out of that hermit isolation mode and try to look at yourself too. Like, you know, try to make sure you're not isolating yourself away. Um, you know, and then with the nine of wands, you know, look at that as that energy is building. It is coming and it's like... We're going to get there, okay? Um, we may be a little beat up. We may be a little battered by it, but we will get there. So we need to get out of that that energy of, like, this isn't going to happen or feeling battered or bruised. Um, 
Now, again, when they're going to tell you that they're in love with you, um, I do feel like it's it would be rather quickly. Like, once they can escape that situation that they're in, um, that would probably come very quickly. I am seeing this energy of trust. So it may take a little while for you guys to establish trust, especially if they're in a karmic situation with somebody that is toxic. I'm seeing the devil here, which is indicating that they could be dealing with a toxic um, third party situation, which could be an addiction, could be a person that's just very controlling, manipulating, has left them without much trust. But when they get rid of that and they crumble that out and this new opportunity becomes present and you guys do the work that's needing to be done, um, on this connection, you will get to the Ten of Pentacles, which is like that marriage, that happiness, that success, that abundance, that beautiful energy of love, all right? Um, and then that will put that Queen of Swords energy in reverse. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, um, I think a majority are feminines that watch, but like this could be, you know, you're, if you're a masculine watching and wondering when your feminine is going to tell you that they love you, um, this could just be like the end of some feminine in their life talking shit down to them. Like it could be a mother figure or something. But for the majority of those watching, I feel like the karmic partner that the masculine's with is kind of in this Queen of Swords energy. And it's like through building this trust, we put an end to that. That's when they're going to feel confident to open up to you. And the number I'm getting there is actually 10. So it could be within 10 days, it could be within 10 hours, it could be 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, you know, that they finally are able to say, I love you, all right? So think about that, like you guys get together within two months, and then by the 10th, you know, with 10 months from today, they're able to, like, go work through this and say, I love you, you know, or like, open up and say they love you. They And again, it could happen differently, it could be within two days, you guys are back together, um, and then within 10 days, you guys are claiming your love to each other. So just take the messages as they resonate and apply them to your life and your situation and be realistic about things, you know, if you're in no separation, no contact. Um, it may take a little bit for this person to say that they love you. So we're going to move on at 1212 to number two. And we're going to look at how soon is this person coming back and when are they going to tell you that they love you? So we have free yourself. It's time to take back the control of your life. Love yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. The Four of Swords. The Knight of Wands. And then the Nine of Pentacles. Huh. So there's some weird energy here. Um, for, like, how soon that, like, if about them coming back and all of that. I think, really, we kind of, like, for that to even happen, you got to free yourself from, like, that desire, that need for them to come back so that they can come back. You know what I mean? Like, when we want something so badly, we can create resistance to it because we focus on it to the point where we're, like, blocking it from allowing it to actually happen. So I really feel like what they're saying here is you got to have to free yourself from that attachment to outcome and then, you know, focus on loving yourself first. And the more that you love yourself, the more that you're confident with yourself, the more you feel beautiful and strong and capable and all those things, the higher up your vibration rises and the more romantically attractive people will find you, you know, the, the more people will want to come towards you, particularly like a twin mate, a twin mate, a soulmate or a twin, twin flame, you know, they come towards you when you release the resistance and when you're happy and beautiful and confident with yourself, you know, that's what pulls them towards you you is that that energy of self-love like we really got to work on self-love so i feel like that is the message like for, from these two cards it's like really just you got to stop focusing on it so much and really put yourself first now the energy over here is a little weird with the four of swords i know it's supposed to be sexual but there's almost this element of this guy like trying to keep her mouth quiet okay so you may be rushing that you want them to tell tell you that they love you or you may be rushing them to come back and in fact that is kind of pushing it off okay so you got to release that now they have the energy to come in hot and strong but right now that's not what you really want because you want someone to stick around to tell you that they love you and that they want to be with you and they don't really have that okay like i feel like 
so like the nine is like the night the night of of wands is somebody that has the energy to come in and hard and fast but then they don't always stick around or like like they may stick around but that energy that they came in with that fire and that passion kind of fades so you'd rather release that kind of energy plus you want to be able to communicate with them you don't want them to like rush in all hot and then the first time you open your mouth they run out you know that's what i'm picking up with this person but with the nine of pentacles too the energy here is like I feel like he, um, it kind of feels like whoever's listening to this, so if you're the Divine Feminine, listen for your masculine, it kind of has that creepy vibe like where you've become a little obsessed about this person's coming back and telling you that they love you. Now, this could be your masculine feeling this way towards you, vice versa, but with all this other energy here, you guys could be mirroring that to each other as well. Um, and it's just like the universe is keeping you guys separated because you aren't healed. If you guys aren't healed enough to free yourself and love yourselves enough to like be able to have these authentic communications and continue that fiery passion you know beyond the first five minutes of you coming together you know things can can they, they aren't going to happen right away but this energy of like cutting their hair it's almost like some weird obsession thing where it's like i'm gonna take this with me and i'm gonna like do some voodoo i don't know it's just weird so um i really feel like the message here for it, like when they're gonna come back it's gonna be when we can get over this like obsession with each other um and probably more so on on whoever's listening like if you're the listener you know and it's not that i'm trying to say that you're obsessed or weird or creepy it's just that the the energies are showing me that it's like not healthy okay it's not a healthy energy that that we're partaking in maybe you're checking up on them a little too much or maybe you're just like obsessing a little too much or wanting it so much that it just can't come okay now like when they're going to come back to tell you that they're in love like when when will they tell you that they're in love once once they come back you know i i'll see how that goes but I, again it's going to be after we release that resistance so let's say we release the resistance we've you know cleared up that energy of like needing them to come back um, and so they're back and let's see how long it takes for them to say that they love you. You know, like what, what do we need for that? So we have the five of cups, the page of wands and the two of pentacles. So what I'm feeling like, all right, so maybe you guys heal this stuff. You kind of separate and all of that. Um, when they do come back, they may feel weird. You know, this is like a sadness of like, like missed opportunities. It's like they may have like if they're mirroring you and they're feeling that energy of like wanting them back today and wanting to hear they say that I love you right now in this moment. It could be that when you guys do get together after healing that separation, you still are like holding on a little bit to that, like wanting to rush. And so like every day feels like a missed opportunity to say I love you. You know, it's like every every day we're like, oh, I should have done it today or oh, I should have done it today. And with the page of wands, it's like we just don't have that energy. So again, um, it's almost like we reverted backwards now. <laughs> you know, it's like we were so gung ho on pushing this forward and saying this and wanting this so quickly that now we are together and we're like awkward about it and we're like putting it off and like not really sure of what to do and feeling like a page energetically and then like juggling like should I say it tomorrow or should I say it this time I should have said it then and it's like again getting too much caught up into like the when and the how instead of just allowing things to come the way that they're supposed to okay so the main message for this pile is like you got to just allow things to unfold the way that they're supposed to free yourself from that like entrapment of needing it to be right in this moment and i get it it sucks like believe me every day it's like what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck and you wait and you wait and you wait and it's like is this ever gonna happen and then it's like i should just fucking give up and and move on completely and then like you go through all of these um like things in your head where you're like wow like this actually like what did I I was like earlier today I was thinking like I shouldn't even bother ever like ever because of the channel you know what I mean like like because I've done this it's like it's gonna make that really fucking weird and awkward so it's like I should just never even bother you know but we go through all those things and that's like the detaching and acceptance and all of that stuff but we all go through it so um I don't know why I'm shuffling this because I'm getting the numbers. So how soon they're going to come back? Let's get a number. All right. Well, we got we got strength and temperance there, but the num and the Knight of Pentacles. So there's no number. <laughs> 
actually, you know what? The strength card has the eight. So I'm going to give you that because that's the infinity symbol and that's the like energy of the twin flames. So it does feel like it's a twin flame connection. It's just that like that that's that energy, that magnetic pull to each other. But I feel like this message is perfect for what we just heard. We got to find the strength to free ourselves from that like Oh, I need it to be today or I need it to be yesterday. Um, and I feel like eight is going to be the number for when they come back. Now, it doesn't have to be eight years or eight months or anything like that. It's just the eight. So it could be on the eighth of the month. It could be at eight o'clock at night. It could be, you know, anything inv involving the eight. And whenever you see eight, 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 allow the universe to be delivering you that message saying that they're coming back. This is your confirmation that you freed yourself enough. You know, you, you're loving yourself enough. You've pulled back on being like too much on that. So, you know, you found that strength inside of you to overcome that that need so much. So, yes, the universe is going to bring them to you. Now, you are the creator of your reality. So you can take that eight for any way that you want to fit it. OK, so it could be it could be eight, you know, whatever, eight. Eight, eight minutes, you know, but you know, if you're in that energy, it's not going to be eight minutes, but you can live like it is. Um, all right. So I'm going to take this one for when will he tell me he loves me? And this is actually, we got two sixes. We got the six of cups and then the six of pentacles and the six of cups is about a love offer. I'm sorry. I'm so used to the thing being over there. Um, so the six of cups is a love offer and the six of pentacles is balance. So that makes sense to me that once we found the strength to love ourselves and find that balance, we were not juggling and worrying and thinking and like con consuming ourselves with the details so much. It's going to make it much easier for that love offer to come in. So I feel like you guys get back together, whether it's on the 8th of the month or at 8 p.m., the number six will be significant for when. And the number six is the number of the lovers, okay? So it could be that it's in June. It could be that it's on the 6th at 6 o'clock or whatever. Um, and you can find that number 666 or any of the variations of the six to be indication. You can even have it be that... Um, you can even have it be that, like, the, the lover's card is, is, like, confirmation that this person is going to, like, be telling you that they love you soon, okay? And you can do that even now, even if you're not back together. Like, let that, let that just be confirmation that it's going to come, okay? And start living in that reality that it's going to come and trusting that it's going to come. But for right now, I would really focus on just trying to pull yourself back a little bit and focus the love on yourself, Um just because of that energy there, you know, I saw that energy, it was, it was just a little much, but, you know, I get it, I feel, I fully get it, so don't feel like you're crazy, just know that you got to pull back a little bit, so 22, 32, all right, how soon are they coming back, and when will they tell you that they love you, we have getting to know each other, past life relationship, the knave of cups, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. All right. So what I'm feeling here is that, like, this person, you definitely have a past life connection with them, and you may have connected with them in this lifetime, and you may not really feel like you know them fully. It's like you knew them when you met them. It's like you had that, like, that feeling that you've already known them in another life or that you've known them in this life, it, but it was like you couldn't put your finger on it. It was just like they had a familiar familiar feeling about them, okay? But with the getting to know each other, I feel like it's like you guys got to get to know each other again in this lifetime. You know, whatever whatever you went through in the past, it, it was in the past. So it's like we got to get to know each other in this lifetime and how we are in this lifetime. And it could even be that you guys, you know, connected 20 years ago. And so how you are now is completely different from how you were then. And so, again, you'd have to get to know each other. So there's just some sort of past connection here. You know, it doesn't have to be 20 years. It could be five years, two years, one year. Uh, but it's like you really need to get to know each other again. And usually after an awakening um, of this understanding that there's a twin flame, you know, you're a different person. So I can see that getting to know each other was a big part of this. Now, I feel like this is obviously going to happen after they come back. But energetically, you can allow them to get to know your energy more. Like if you haven't been working with their um, astral self or their I am presence, you know, like go into meditation and work with them so that they can get used to your energy. And I find that to be a big problem with a lot of the twins is they come in together in the physical and it's like they don't know how to act or talk or be because their energies are just like, Mah. so it's like you got to go, oh, wait a minute, let's get back into this. Um, with the Knave of Cups, 
I do feel like they want to come back towards you, that they have love for you, but they just don't feel like they're able to yet. And I also feel there's an element of thinking that there's somebody else that has your attention. So they could be somebody else that you're in a relationship with. There could be somebody else that they're in a relationship with, but it's like they're writing love letters. You know what I mean? Like they're sitting there writing to you and thinking about you and like crumbling them up. And, like, the cat's playing with it, so it's like they could have a cat or a dog or something that, you know, it's just them and their, their pet, and they're, like, constantly thinking about you and worried about you finding somebody else, um, and, and all the while you're still, like, thinking about them, or you wouldn't be here. And then the Two of Swords is, like, trying to make a decision, and then, again, there's that element of feeling like, I'm going to make this offer, and she's not going to want it, you know? So it's like, I feel like a lot of the masculine energy is the one here that's feeling like like it's not going to happen and then even with the nine of swords you know um he's behind her again now the nine of swords is somebody that's like kept you up at night but i feel like the masculines in this in this pile have been the ones up at night thinking about this situation so if you are the divine feminine you know asking like when are they coming back i feel like they're going to come back pretty quickly and the only thing you guys really have to work on is you know he needs to heal this stuff about worrying about you not taking his offer. As long as his offer comes back in with that romantic, like, if he's writing letters, freaking send them. Like, if, if you're a masculine writing letters, send them to your woman. She wants them. I got people buying them from me. So write your own. Um, and then, you know, they got to make that decision to know that she's not going to throw out the offer. As Like, look at the romantic offer. She's not going to throw out a romantic offer. And she's probably not going to throw out anything you have to do sexually either. Um, this does look like it could get a little wild, you know. This is my romance deck, you know. I have two, two of both of the romance decks out. Um, and there's not that many of them in here, but there is some kinky ones. So I do feel like there is a kinky element here too. But this masculine has some insecurities to overcome, and he needs to just find the words to say, which does fit into, like, getting to know each other. He may just not feel like he knows how to come to you or what to say to you because you guys haven't, like, connected enough in the physical. And I do feel like they worry that there may be somebody else that, like, is going to take you or does have you. So if you're in a relationship, they're worried about it. If you're not in a relationship, I think they're worried that you're going to, like, move on without them. All right, so I do feel like they will come back rather soon, though, if they can overcome that or if you can at least show them that if they come towards you, you're, you're going to accept them. You know, if you're in a freaking relationship and you're here wondering about this person, get out of the relationship you're in so that they can come towards you. And when you guys do get together, make sure it's in a place that you can communicate or masculine, send the letter so your feminine actually knows where, where you're at, you know, like if you actually care beyond this stuff, you know. Um, if you actually care beyond just like getting wild and crazy, then you should let her know. All right. And then, so let's get the times for, um, how soon they're coming back. Um, we got the king of wands. So I feel like they definitely have the energy to come back. Like they're raring to go energetically to come back. And then we got the four swords. So they're thinking about it too. Like they're meditating, contemplating, thinking, thinking, thinking. They could be actually writing you letter letters and scribbling them out and throwing them away and being like, that's stupid. Or writing text messages and deleting them or like typing something up and then being like, that's stupid. I feel like there's a lot of conflict, but the energy is there for them to come back. And I'm going to take the four as either, you know, four days, four weeks, four months, uh, four years, but I really feel like it's not going to be that long because this intensity is here for them to come towards the feminine, and usually it's the feminine wanting the masculine. So, you know, if if you are the masculine, you know, make make your move, um, you know. And then I do feel like it, the four 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 will be an indication from spirit that they are coming. So when you see four four four, let that be like synchronicity confirmation that they're coming quickly, okay? And stay in that vibration that they're coming because you are the creator of your reality. So if you trust it and you allow the synchronicity to prove it to you, then they will prove it to you. Now, how long is it going to be before this masculine or feminine can say that they're in love with you? Holy moly. Um, there's not a whole, let's see. Yeah, that's too many. There's too many options there. Sorry. Um, so let's see how long until this masculine, feminine can say that they love you. We got the magician and then the seven of cups, okay? 
So I do feel like if this person was somebody in the past that hurt you or was like in a karmic situation or did things that whatever, that could be part of this energy of them worried that you're gone off with somebody else or that they don't know how to approach you or what to say or that they don't like it's like we got to get to know each other again because they didn't bother to get to know you when you were there to get to know you. You know what I mean? Like that energy is there. It's almost like they took you for granted and then you disappeared and now they're like, well, shit, how do I get this person back? I don't even know what they like or what to say or like I never listened to anything they said to me type of thing. And so now it's like, oh, I wish I listened then. Um, but I do feel like they have transformed out of that and they've limited their like they could have multiple choices, but I think they've limited their choices down to you. All right. But I'm going to take the number seven. And I'm going to say it would either be seven days, seven weeks, seven months, whatever, from the time you guys come back, you know. And they may even say it on the same time, you know. So four could turn into seven, seven could turn into four, vice versa. Um, they could, you know, actually say that they love you before they say, before you come back in together, you know. Or they could come back and say it at the same time. It just depends on, like, and this is the only pile that, that, that I felt that way with, that they could actually come back you know, they could actually tell you that how they feel before they come back, all right, so if you, maybe you're in a long distance one or something, but this is the only pile that I felt that with. Now, again, allow 777 to be that synchronicity message that's telling you that they are going to come back to tell you that they love you, be the creator of your reality, trusting that they're coming, you know, that they're coming to tell you this, and that as long as you stay in the vibration of whatever it is that you're doing, and you open up to them coming back, you know, they will be, and that you know, they're going to they're gonna tell you that they love you as well. We do have pay attention to the red flags that just jumped out, and it says the signs are cautioning you. So for some of you, um, you know, pay attention. And we do have forgiving and learning here too. So I feel like y you could have some stuff coming up that you're like, you could be blocked off to this situation because of something that happened in the past, and you're like, you're not allowing yourself to forgive and forget and move on from it. And they could be picking up on that energy and not coming towards you. But there also could be some of you out there that are actually not dealing with like a twin or a soulmate. You're actually dealing with like a karmic situation. And the signs are like, no, don't, you know, like pay attention. Listen to the red flags. Don't, don't pursue this. You don't want to have to be in this energy unless, you know, it's, it is your twin. Like you don't want to be forgiven and forgetting on a situation that you didn't have to. Okay. So pay attention to the red flags. I feel like that's only for some of you. Um, but that one did jump out. So I have to, I have to let you know. Um, but yeah, that is number three. So I kept it short and sweet because my dog has been up my butt for like the past few hours while I was doing private readings. I did get a lot of them done and I am kind of basically back to seven to 10 business day waiting. Um, I don't know why I said business day, seven to 10 day waiting. It's not business days. Um, and, uh, thank you guys very much. If you liked it, you can like, if you didn't, you can dislike, you know, everybody, you guys have been helping so much. All of your comments, all your likes, all your shares, all of the stuff that you do helps the channel to grow and it helps, you know, other people to see there is a button for donations. There is a button down there for, um, the Amazon wish list that I have. If you want to get me a deck of cards and I'm going to be going live Saturday night on my Divine Essentials Facebook page for free live readings. Um, doesn't have to be a Twin Flame reading over there. Uh, it doesn't have to be here either. Um, and, I, and also, all my readings are down below. So if you want to get a reading, look at what I offer. Email me with your questions or your brief details about your situation. Don't send me a novel. Just let me know, like, hey, I want to get a love letter. My name's this. Their name's that. You know, you can give me the date of birth, um, their sign if you want, and, um, you know, like a little bit of an inf like information about it, like it, we're in separation, or blah, blah, blah. You don't have to tell me, like, everything that's happened since day one. And then, you know, if you don't have questions and you want to get, like, the seven-question reading, I can come up with the questions if you're just open to receive. I did it that way because it's, like, the seven questions is 30 minutes. And for whatever reason, when I had it, like, as just a 30-minute, I had it as seven cards before, but you see how I do this. Like, I go crazy. I don't do just seven cards. So I was saying seven-card readings, and it was like people are getting 40-card readings. Um, so I moved it to seven questions, but it just, just means that it's a 30-minute video. So if you only have two questions or no questions and you're just open, I can do whatever you want. And I can also do trance channeling where the emissaries talk through me. And I find that that's actually, like... You probably get more from that than from writing because it takes longer to write. So if you, you know, like it's them talking. So it's like the messages come through faster. 
So um, yes, those are the things that I offer. And I do have the, the sister channel, Divine Essentials, where I am doing trans channeling soon. So if you want to have a question that's really not twin flame related, like just about your spiritual practice or something, you want to add it over there, go ahead and add it. I'm still accepting them. I think I'm pretty close to making the video though, but I'm always taking more for the next one and the next one and the next one. So whenever you want to go over and add questions, um, I will let you know when the video is ready that has the answers. Okay, and there is some over there that actually have questions on Twin Flames from the past that I've done. So if you've like watched my readings and you, you know you like the messages I bring through in this format, you can go over there and check out the ones I brought forth over there. I don't do timestamps on it though because it's, it's a completely different thing and I'm not really here and my eyes are closed so I don't know when the times are and I don't usually go back to, to deal with all of that. All right, thank you very much, guys. We're actually very, very close to hitting 5,000 subscribers now, so um, I'm sure it'll probably be within the next 24 hours or so, so I will be going live on here again in honor of that, and I think I'm going to do a couple of giveaways because of that as well, okay? So I will announce all the details and figure out the best way to do it, but thank you guys very much. In Mune, namaste.